Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Drakengard. I am Cole Wolfrun and we're going to be continuing right where we left off. With Kaim going to rescue his sister, Fur well, we rescued our sister Furiai, and now we are heading to the Elf Village, which is neutral, so the Empire can't get us there. So, let's see what happens. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, whatever, it was intentionally creepy. Perhaps we should celebrate. What oh, was that a smile, dear Kaim? The usual song. So the song he's singing actually is in a foreign language created for this franchise called Angelic. There's angelic runes and stuff all throughout the franchise from the first game all the way through to Near Automata. Because the Watchers, the Cult of the Watchers, which we've already seen, they uh, represent the Empire. Well, the Empire represents the Cult of the Watchers. They're pretty evil. And we can already see around the map, like... This is the castle of the goddess. There's some places all over the map for us to travel to. But first is the silent forest. Chapter 2. Complications. On the trail to the neutral elf village, the small band and their escort of Union soldiers make camp. But then the dragon hears an ill-omened voice. Ah, and then we can just talk to people. <laughs> an ocean of blood flows! <laughs> <laughs> Is this war? <laughs> Is it? Um, I mean, yeah, dude. That's what war is. When did the Empire become so strong? Is that Liam? Lord Kaim, we are all that is left of your regiment. That is totally Liam O'Brien. Before he got famous, maybe? I served your father. I will serve you, my lord. I have to live, don't I? As the seal. Yes. Now please do not kill yourself. I'm, I mean it. I mean it. Don't do it. Hmm? Big brother will be mad. I believe only my own eyes. Come on. We're going to the village now. Bruh. Free eye. She just falls down. No, I, I, I'm well. Are you sure? True. We carry the awful weight of the seal. We must find you a place to rest. Times like the dude is an asshole. That music cut out abruptly. I don't think that was intentional. Clouds of dark foreboding brood over the village of the elves. In the sky above the neutral lands, Kaim encounters imperial forces amassed in preparation for assault. So we're in the sky. First. Now, I'll remind you, I said this is one of my favorite games of all time, but I have not played it in years. Dragon makes a pact with a man. The old legends have come alive.
Music is so good. Get over here, you little fart. Yeah. Get him. All right, now we can go. Ah, uh, all right, come on, Ace Combat with Dragons. Which was the original pitch for this game, I shit you not. Ace Combat with Dragons. faster. Come on, girl. Why are they so far away? Ah, big ship. Got it. Thuriai, without you, the goddess, the world shall surely perish. Thuriai, now that you are the goddess, my world is already dead. Come on. These things are annoying up close because they're harder to hit. Ah! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, uh, more big ships. The Empire has come here. Prepare yourself. Oh god, we're not doing too hot, folks. I might want to do some free missions off screen, but... No going back now! There's so many bats. It's not even Halloween. It's freaking bats. God, I'm not dying to this thing. It's only your hatred drive you forward. <sighs> the elf village must be here. Okay, good. Whew. It must be. Oh, look, there's a bridge to it and everything. Lord, now to the village. Hold on. Got a Snapchat from my friend Storm. That I will open later. It's time for recording.
A new free expedition is available. Yeah, I'm aware. And now straight into the next mission. The elf village lies in the woods across the bridge. It must be there. Come on, little guys, get out of here. Wrong button. Okay, let's see how the spear does. Yeah, so the spear is not bad. What's the magic attack like? That's awful! I will not be leveling this weapon up very much. Let's try out the new little sword. It's so fast! I just want to see the magic attack once. Because it's so good. Yep. No, 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 no. Get back to my good sword. The Empire's forces have come even here. Is the village safe? Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Burn him! Burn him, dragon! This is just fun, just going, hi, I'm gonna... Oh, well, they regenerate health, don't they? You know what? Fuck it. Kime's got this. Get him. A message. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Has been found to the east. Oh, it has, has it? We're gonna fight our way across this bridge, though, just because I wanna. Get it. We're gonna fight away. Yeah, boom. So I was thinking about this in between episodes, and I will definitely be doing all endings to Drakengard uh, one. But as for Drakengard two and Drakengard, if I do Drakengard three. If I do Dragon Guard 3, I will absolutely be doing every ending. They cannot dare to come so far. But for Dragon Guard, uh. But for Dragon Guard, uh. 2, I think I'm only gonna be getting ending A, because it's the only one that's really worth it. Maybe ending B. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna get is ending A and ending B.
But for Dragon Guard one, I am going. And if I do three, I'm going to do my best to get every single ending to uh, Dragon Guard. Uh, Dragon Guard one, and if I do three, near replicate every ending, including the one I've heard about. I know about because I read. Oh, I can't. Uh, the one I know about ending E, but I have not experienced for myself in the actual game because I've only done endings A and B on my uh, PS5 copy. But I will be getting that game for PC and playing through all the endings just for you guys. So I'm going to wait to do ending E and so you guys can see my genuine reaction. So yeah, we're going to run, 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 get him, Kaim. Fireball! Well, one, two, three, four, and a slicey dicey. Fireball! Murder! Oh, nope. I can't mount the dragon here. Let's see how many, how many fireballs does it take to burn you alive? Let's see, sonny. Oh, look, that's a lot of fireballs. Yeah, we're gonna kill all you little fuckers. In the name of my sister, Faria. Yeah, so we haven't gotten into any of the really dark stuff that happens in these games, but trust me, we will. And sorry if I ever get quiet during these sections, if I don't have anything to talk about. I'm trying very hard not to spoil future games. Like, very hard. I'm trying so hard not to spoil future games right now. Fireballs! And yeah, like I said, the gameplay, not the most interesting part of this game. If I, I'm not going to play video games that I don't enjoy playing, though. Like, I enjoy this game a lot. I'm not going to do a uh, Under the Mayo and play Elden Ring, even though I suck at it. Well, correction. I don't suck at Elden Ring. If you've watched my stream, you know that. Or, or the videos here on the YouTube channel. I'm great at Elden Ring. Under the Mayo is my probably my least favorite person on... Not least favorite, but one of them. His videos are so... His criticisms of God of War and God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring are just unfounded. They're just bad. I see it with my own eyes, and yet it cannot be. Yes, it can, and you are. We came here for no reason. Oh, almost there. Almost at level five. You came the weapon, Tyrant's Hammer. Do we have every weapon type now? Let's look at the explanation. In a land ruled by a gang of demons, ten young idealists revolt, resolve to take up this weapon and rise against their evil overseers, but not one of the coward citizenry rose to fight with them. Do we have every weapon now? Every weapon type? Hammer, axe, spear, longsword, sword? One thing I don't like is how in uh, Dragon Guard 2... Actually, no, I like the way Dragon Guard 2 does weapons better, because only certain party members can wield certain weapons. So when you wield different weapons, you're playing as a different party member. Now, party members are interesting in this game. So party members in Dragon Guard 1, it's a little interesting because you don't have to unlock them all for ending A, which is the canon ending for Dragon Guard 2. You do have to unlock them all for endings B, C, D, and E. Now, the only two endings that lead into a different game are A and E. Uh, and C, I think, C, no, not C. D and E require you to have every party member. So, we'll get to that later, but it's still fun. Kaim and his party arrive at the Elf Village, but the Empire has been there first. And about then, 
is the aftermath of this unlawful invasion. Then you are to spares as he lays eyes upon the wasted ruins. Then Kaim and the dragon hear a voice. Aha! The elf village is close. Look at that, all the elves are dead! Who would have guessed? Hell, hell has come here. Ugh. What shall I do? Bro, you got a literal badass with you. I hear his voice. His voice? Mm -hmm. The Hierarch has a pack beast too? Yes, a dragon. A petrified dragon. A petrified dragon. Where is he now? He is at the temple in the desert. He wants you to go to him for your own safety. Oh, Furiae. You must forgive me. I'm not strong enough to protect you. Oh, yeah. But your songs, they call me. <laughs> songs? I, I pray for strength. This is totally not uh, red flags and toxic warning signs. Will you come? We must investigate further. Go with Bloody Eye and protect her. We shall follow. That seems like a bad idea, honestly, leaving Inuar in charge of protecting Footy Eye. Like, a really bad idea. Oh, my sword leveled up! Attack increased 6 to 8. Combo from 6 to 10. Hell yeah. The voice uh, is that of Hierarch Vertile, the spiritual leader of the Union and guardian of the Four Seals. The seal of the temple, the seal of the desert, the seal of the forest, and the seal of the goddess herself. After seeing Furiae and Inuit go in to join Vertile, Kaim searches the village. There, beside an Imperial soldier's body, is a message written in blood. Oh, there we go. And here's our first introduction to the Watchers, I believe. Speak not the Watchers. Draw not the Watchers. Write not the Watchers. Sculpt not the Watchers. Sing not the Watchers. Call not the Watchers' name. What is this? The cult. The cult of the Watchers. <laughs> I can't walk over this? Come on, Kaim. Oh, it's a lady. An alive lady. In the valley, the cult of the Watchers has a shrine. They took everyone there. <laughs> the Watchers again. What are they? Uh, 
I know, but Kaim doesn't, so I'm not gonna tell. A dying elf tells Kaim about the shrine of the cult of the Watchers, and Kaim begins to suspect that some evil bond connects the cult and the Empire. Kaim flies to the shrine to rescue the elves and to learn more about the cult of the Watchers. Yeah, so you can see a lot of these verses are literally just cutscenes that they extend for story. Also, my lighting's pretty good for uh, being dark. Oh, more dragon! Says you! I'm passionate enough for all these bitches! That's my point, Kaim! Listen, 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 listen. Angie, baby. Don't ever call me that again. I'll call you whatever I want there, sugar tits. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, let's go. What we got there? Ooh, a griffin! Our first... Actually, fairly challenging boss. Mini... Our first sky boss. I know there's going to be a bunch of them, right? That was our first taste of some like actual challenging aerial combat. Multiple griffins now? I see multiple red dots. Yep. Three of the little fuckers. Oh, damn. Got me. Yeah, we're going, we're going. Promise, I promise. Oh. Like I said, guys, sorry if I get a little distracted and, like, don't talk much during these parts. But it's fun! And I like talking about the game and talking about the story and talking more about it as we go through the playthrough will be fun for all of us. Angelus' attack power raises... And I think how I'll do the uh, other endings is I won't show every scene from it, only the important parts. The shrine should be close. Take care. I sense something. Good 
get to test out my new hammer! Oh, this weapon is slow. Oh, it's raining. Dragon go burr. The red soldiers, they're protected from magic. Oh yes, the red soldiers. They are notorious for being really annoying when you're riding your dragon. The shrine of the cult of the watchers. But why does the Empire come here? Get it. That sucked. Okay, yeah, we're changing weapons up. Ten hit combo, baby. Yeah, so... These enemies are interesting because they cannot be hurt by magic, or they're resistant to magic. That includes your damn dragon. So this is their way of making sure you don't, uh, along with the archers, so that you don't just abuse the dragon the whole game. Ow! Okay, where am I going now? On the other side of here, right? Okay, good. Ow! Point blank arrow. Oh yeah, the triple fireball is nice too. I forgot about that. Now let's go get these little fuckers. And the guys who are resistant to magic will actually like shoot magic back at you. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, we're just gonna crank the wheel here, don't mind us. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, damn it! Aha, you didn't get all of us. That's because I haven't had a chance yet. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna run over here real quick, because there is a chesty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna go over here. Fire! Okay. Oh, there once was a man named Kaim and he swung his sword and he hit real hard and I don't know what I'm singing. I cannot sing. Why am I trying to sing? Oh, that man named Kaim was real big dick and he had a, hit a stick. I'm just singing random songs because I don't know what to commentate. Ah, oh, fire! Yes, yes, burn. Burn! For my father and mother! Kind your father and mother were killed by a dragon. Yeah. So fuck you! Why you. Wh whatever, whatever. Listen, therapy's expensive. Sword, really cheap. Like, seriously, you can get one for like $200. And then you can just go murdering people. Kaim, it's that mostly meant for decorate murder. Murder. Burn. 
burn, 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 burn. Now games like this are harder to do Let's Plays of than games like Dragon Age, which I'm also recording for the YouTube channel, by the way. And I guess I could use this time to just talk about some stuff we got going on for Revera coming up pretty soon. We've obviously got uh, The Tragedy of Atharis we've been hyping up for a bit. That is coming soon. As of today, it's not out yet, but uh, Lore, who is one of my players and does the editing for the videos, she is working on editing the Tragedy of Atharis videos here pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, so she should have those done pretty soon, and then we'll have a lot of fun for you. Yeah, see, these guys, they, they're resistant to magic, and they hurt when they hit you. But, yeah, so we've got some tragedy with our stuff coming up. And then Season 2 of Rivera, you guys will happen to know, if you're watching this at all, is recording. And for those of you who just discovered me through this YouTube channel, I'm like, what the hell is Revira? What's a Thar? It's my uh, homebrew D&D campaign that is streamed over on Lakeside Legends on Twitch. And it's also on the Lakeside Legends YouTube channel. So, yeah. It's pretty great. It's pretty great to have, and I, in fact, do love it. I love my little crew of goblins that are my D&D party. I'm actually making armor for a couple of them, so that's my next priority. Come on, Kaim. We got left one left. Burn, burn, burn. Do, 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 do. More Empire soldiers. Lord Kime, be on guard. Where are you guys, by the way? You guys are supposed to be helping me, right? And you're just not. Ew, a sorcerer. Damn it. The Empire uses spells and witchcraft. They duplicate, huh? Oh my god. This is the tutorial on you guys, then, huh? Uh, it, oh my god! Come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there. Get dead. Ooh! Chest. Oh, it's just health. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't read part three to Kai's sword. I just realized I didn't read part three to the story on Kai's sword. Oh, this is getting me nowhere real fast. So many! Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, the only missions you guys will probably ever see me die in will probably be dragon missions, just because those are actually pretty tough. Versus... The ground missions are not super difficult. Na, 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 na.
Get over here. Get over here! Is that all of them? No, there's a whole nother group. Ah, I don't even get a chance to do it. Damn it. They shall be food to our flesh. Wow. So if you guys haven't picked up on it by now from the robotic way they talk, the Empire was once an empire full of people, is now an empire full of hive mind slaves. So it's a hive mind of... It is a hive mind of people who used to have their own will and everything but are now just dead. They're essentially zombies. So yeah, the Empire, we, sh we shouldn't feel bad killing any of these guys because they are not... are not actually really people. Blizzard has fled in, into the shrine of the Cult of the Watchers. Go after him and stop his wicked magic. Yep, that's my plan. Captured elves. That's a good question, and or dragon. Level five, almost level six. Yeah. We're gonna save our game, folks, and that's actually where I'm gonna end episode two. So I really hope you enjoyed this let's play of Drakengard one, and I'll see you guys next time.